I'm having a housewarming party! A year after moving in. Better late than never, right? When I was designing this place to move into, I had imagined it to be like a big hosting era condo. Um, instead, I, I, ha I, I haven't had a single party. I've had like pre-games and that kind of stuff, but not like a proper, well put together, hosting, like snacks laid out, decorated nicely kind of party. And this year, I really wanna host more, have like aesthetically pleasing parties with like cute decor and food and snacks and drinks. So I just wanna like gain the organizational skills for that because I've always dreamed of like attending these kinds of things. But as much as TikTok and Pinterest would like to have you think, not many people have the energy, time, and like willpower to expend on these types of parties. So I decided, you know what? Instead of waiting for someone to have the party for me, why don't I do the party myself? However, I'm like not the most organized person, so I'm kind of brute forcing this today. But I'm really excited because I am really proud of how the space has come together since the beginning. It looks so different, obviously, from what we started with. If you've been following along this condo renovation journey, you would have seen all the progress, all the setbacks. I have been settled in here for a couple months now, technically like more than a year, but I was traveling a lot last year, so I wasn't really living here. But I have just been really loving living downtown Vancouver. Like it's so nice and like everything that I've ever dreamed of. I love the independence. And today the independence is continuing. So I have lots of things to do for this party. First of all, I need to invite people. I need to brainstorm the decorations and the food that I wanna make and buy. And then I need to buy the supplies and then set up everything. And then we can have a housewarming party. So a couple of days I sent out all the invites I'm kind of terrified that nobody's gonna show up. Um, I'm kind of scared of that scene in the movie where like someone has a birthday party and then nobody's there. Like they have no friends. So hopefully a couple of people show up. If not, I will have had fun doing this and throwing a party for myself. I mean, it's my housewarming. So I only need me to be happy, right? Me when I lied to myself. I just finished cleaning my entire condo today. So it's sparkling clean so that everybody can see the ideal state of my condo, not the everyday realistic state. We're not gonna let them see that even though you guys see that all the time. And now with the meats. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't know how to choose these. This one's on sale. Three for 15. I look like the chicken breast right now. This is the best cheese ever. How am I supposed to bring this all up by myself? You know what? I've done it before. I feel like for all of my condo renovation videos, it's always this like gigantic mattress, like a bed frame, and I'm like, how the hell am I gonna do this? And then somehow, just by brute force and sheer willpower, I'm like, I mean, like, it has to get done, so I'm gonna do it. I don't know how it happens most of the time, but it just happens. So right now, I need to start setting up and decorating and planning this, oh my God, do you hear those cracks? Oh, and I also need to get ready. I need to find an outfit and deal with my hair. Like, I don't like how my hair is looking. I still haven't figured out my bangs situation. So I need to figure out my bangs, but I've just finished my makeup. How does it look? I feel like it looks pretty good today because I actually slept more than four hours. Wow, and my skin, my skin does look better when I sleep. So the makeup is like sitting okay. And I just took a shower too. I put in this roller to try to see if I can make my hair look better, but I don't know if I can even salvage it really. It just looks so like bowl cut. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna let it try to settle down. Do I like that or do I not like that? Does that look good or does it look Steve Harrington? Like I'm trying to look Sabrina Carpenter, not Steve Harrington. Shar, is it working? Okay, anyway. Food-wise, I want to do like a giant charcuterie board spread. I bought a bunch of fruits and chips and crackers and cheese, that kind of stuff. My parents are actually coming to help because my mom is like really excited. She sent me a bunch of spread ideas. She wants to do this cute dragon with the fruit because it's Year of the Dragon. Today is actually Lunar New Year Eve, which is a really 
good day to have a housewarming party, celebrate the new year and a new era. So they're coming over. My mom was like, oh, I couldn't even sleep last night because I was like thinking of ideas. My mom was just so cute. They're gonna come over in a bit, but I am going to get started with preparing the placing for the food. Okay, guys, I went shopping for supplies and let me do a little haul for you. It's actually a gigantic haul, so I don't know if I'm gonna show you everything, but I'll give you the gist because it's Lunar New Year Eve today. Well, my mom was like, it's actually a really good day to have a housewarming party. So my dad made these homemade dumplings. I don't know how much is honestly gonna be left for people to eat, but I did buy a whole bunch of frozen dumplings right here. We can all munch on some dumplings. It's currently 5.03. The time for the party is at 7 p.m. So we have two hours to do everything. We have to cook, we have to clean, decorate. I have to do some lighting design and create kind of like the best layout for everyone to stand around and stuff. So Let's do it! Oh wait, I didn't do the whole snacks and stuff. I went to this party a couple of weeks ago. They had Olay drinks and I was like, wait, these are so good. I found out they were a local company. So we did a little collab collab. I just like went to go pick up a bunch of drinks from their office. They're so nice. Maybe I'll do a little haul of these. Most of these are alcoholic. Chili mango, margaritas, tequila mules, palomas. Tequila Sunrise, my favorite. I always order this. It just tastes like juice. I love ordering like a little drink because I just love the taste of juice. Like I don't like the taste of alcohol, but I want just like, I just like a little sweet treat, you know? Those are the alcoholic flavors. And then they also have, this one is non-alcoholic for people who don't want to drink. This one is a non-alcoholic margarita. My fridge currently is so stock full. I would say it's messy, but honestly, I'm kind of proud that there's stuff in it because it's usually so empty. But um, obviously this is not for my actual living purposes. This is for the pate. I just have like a whole bunch of fruit for a charcuterie board. I have more drinks. So many Red Bulls that I still need to get rid of because they sent me a package when I moved in. I was like, oh, this is a lot. But I didn't think it would be lasting me more than a year. So I'm gonna need people to drink so much Red Bull and get so pumped up because it's my house for my party. I have some meats and stuff. I bought some cheeses, but I honestly don't really eat cheese because I'm lactose intolerant. It sends me straight to the toilet, but I bought ones that like sounded like, like I knew the names of. I got Brie Manchego. If I do ever eat cheese, this is the one that I will eat. The Borsin one. This one is so freaking yummy. You need to try this. I think I am going to start on the spread. And in the meantime, I think my parents are gonna start sauteing up the dumplings. Let's do it. Oh, okay. I think I can put all the food on here. Then should this just be like drinks? Or I can put drinks in the kitchen. So I'll clear this. Plates. Wait, do they want them to be cold? I mean, it doesn't need to be cold. Personally, I don't like drinks to be cold, but I feel like people like them to be cold. You know what? It's my party. People will drink room temperature drinks. Okay, I know I just placed them all, but I've decided I probably should refrigerate them because even though it is my party, I think I should be a good host and be considerate of other people. Oh. <sighs> okay, let's put these all back in the fridge. Ooh. Mm. What's in the jiang? Oh, mayo. Mayo. Or, 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 <laughs> Time to assemble the shakuchi board! Okay, so I started out with some brown craft paper that I got from the dollar store. I decided to do this because I saw it on Pinterest and I thought it'd be easier for cleanup, which proved to be so true because I just like rolled it up after. My method was starting with the cheeses as centerpieces to spread around and then laid crackers and meat around it. I liked curling up the meats. They just took a long time. And then I just spread out from there. Okay. 
I'm in the middle of making my charcuterie board and it's looking pretty good so far, but I'm scrapped for time. This is the spread. I'm getting sweaty. I have to redo my makeup, but I got these hockeys and I thought it would be fun to put them in a mason jar. The saltines can go around this. Okay, I'm already going like so fast turbo mode, but there's not enough time. 15 minutes until the designated time. I'm hoping people show up late. One broke, so I'm eating it. Pink crockies. Okay, this is too tall. I need a shorter. I have a pink cup. Okay, that's cute, that's cute. Or, like a really mini. <gasps> Wait, that's cute, that looks good. I also bought these two a year ago from the housewarming party that I thought I was gonna have on time when I actually moved in, but I never ended up using them because I forgot about them. I just checked the expiry date. It's next year, so I literally could wait another year to have my housewarming. I'm gonna open this and have it so people can spread it. Oh, shit. Oh no, my nail broke too. No. Oh, everything's going wrong. Okay, maybe no almond butter. Oh God, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. Perfect. Okay, it's like literally seven and someone is here. I'm like, Seven does not mean seven, but I guess to me seven doesn't mean seven, but seven means seven to some people. Okay, Alexa, night mode. We got the lighting here good. These lights turned on for ambiance, and the spread is pretty much done. Oh my god. Ooh, pretty. Okay, this is the dragon that my mom made. The eyes, and then it looks so good. Okay, okay. Ambient lighting. Okay, I gotta put the drinks out. And then more and more people kept arriving and girl, I already have like time management issues. Hosting a full on housewarming party was like the true test for me. This is like the boss level test of time management because I did not give myself enough time. I woke up that morning, I was like, oh, like I pretty much have everything cleaned. Like I just have to like set up and stuff. Girl, I was, I was strapped for time the entire time. And I was like having hosting duties and having to talk to everyone, letting everyone in, like answering my buzzer and like making sure everyone had food and drinks and stuff. I was stressed. In, I don't really know if I am in my hosting era because I don't know if I like hosting But it is my first real hosting event. So maybe I'll get better. Hopefully I will get better It was so fun to see like my friends meet each other It did get quite crowded at a certain point during the night, but I hope that everyone was vibing I was vibing and we all had a fun time. I think I hope everyone had a fun time I hope these flash pictures will make it seem like it's a fun time. Anyway, that was my housewarming Thanks for following along and and you know, that was fun. I That was fun to host a housewarming a year after moving in. Anyway, bye. I'm trying to find the naked neighbor. Oh. There's somewhere over there.